Hey everybody, this is Jim the Tabletop Engineer and welcome to a new playthrough video. Today I am going to be playing another game of Exo World Survival. Uh, if you haven't watched the first video, you might want to go back and watch that where I explain the rules uh, in a little more detail. Uh, today I'm just going to be just playing the game and hoping to win. I came close last time, but not quite. But the game's creator actually messaged me and told me that I had started this at minus two and it should have been at zero. So don't know, maybe I could have won, who knows. Uh, what I need to do is go ahead and set the game up real quick. I am going to be playing three characters again. So what I've done is there is an expansion that comes in this game. It's called uh, Trappist One Expansion. It comes with additional cards that you can play, uh, including characters, hazards, modules. So I've gone ahead and mixed those in to the deck. They don't really change anything. They just add a little more to the game. And so I'll be playing with those. What I'm going to do is I'm going to deal out three random, well, let's shuffle again, just do off the top. I'm just going to shuffle, deal myself three random characters and uh, play that way. All right, we'll play that one. All right, let's see who we got. We have the commander again, okay. We have the laborer again and the architect. I can't remember, I don't think I had the architect last time. All right, so each each person is going to get four actions on their turn, if you'll remember. What I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the commander to the white icon. Uh, the white, uh, they all start at the home base right now. Uh, I'm going to give the laborer the gray and I'll give the architect the black token. And you can play up to five players because there's a brown and a pink token as well. So I'm just gonna put these here so that I can kind of remember uh, their actions and what they can do on their turn. And these will be used to represent the actual uh, turns. So let me sit up here and let's get going. Uh, before I do, I wanna go ahead and shuffle. So. Um, this deck does not get shuffled. It gets stacked a particular way. This is your hazards deck. And this deck right here is the modules. I've already shuffled it, but I'll show you. I'll go ahead and shuffle it again. Um, this is the modules and various items and things that I'll be pulling. There will always be two of them revealed like this. I can always take one from here or one unknown from here. Uh, let's see. Um, I probably need looking at the camera to kind of figure out how I can do this. may need to move these guys over a little bit. Uh, all of my uh, crew have a movement. Some, ha some can move three, some can move two. They also have a different hand size. So, for example, the commander has six, the laborer has four, and the architect has six. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip the architect and laborer, so I go six, six, and four. And that means I need to, the, the architect is now gray and the laborer is the black one. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm using, again, I'm using these to just keep track of my turn. I've set it at minus two, minus two, minus two, and zero. I start out with 15 resources of, um, the red is, I can never remember, uh, red is oxygen, blue is water, green is food, and yellow is energy. And then I have a... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten uh, emergency uh, supplies that can be used when these run out. So, first thing I want to do with a commander is um, I need to start building. I need to start figuring out. I'm going to push this up just a little bit, give myself some room here to build. Uh, the commander can build, you know, any way, any way orthogonally or diagonally. Um, in order to do that, he also, once per turn, he may do the move action for free, which is a good action. All right, so uh, on my turn, I can move, produce supplies, shut down, repair, draw a card, recycle revealed cards, that's these, transfer a card to another player, or deploy a module. Now, I don't have any cards in my hand right now, although I think I do start with some. Let me make sure, maybe I didn't do this right. Each player draws two cards from the player deck, but I'm playing the solo version. So in the solo version, uh, I share a hand. You take four cards at random, choose three, place a reference card underneath, draw two cards. All right, so I'm gonna draw two. And I got a first aid kit, which is an item, not a module, and a water recovery system, which is a module. All right, so I've got my starting hand. 
Uh, each turn you will have to use the pawn skill and speed a hand limit of your current character, but you may only have one hand of cards for all of them. After the resource update, continue with the next character. You can't use the transfer action, obviously. Uh, okay, in this mode, the special skill of the crew coordinator. I do not have the crew coordinator, so I don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and let's get building. I'm going to build a water system. You can build next to the module you're in. So he is going to build a module. Uh, it says deploy it from your hand in a free space, paying the indicated cost. Well, the cost, uh, that's what I, for I, I haven't played this in a few days, so that's what I'm forgetting now. I need a blue and a green. I do not have that. So instead, what I will do is uh, I do have, that would be a green, and I will, I will draw a card, draw a card from the top, from the player deck or one of the face-ups. I'll take this one for one action. Then I reveal this. All right, there's the yellow. Okay, uh, I have the green, but I need a blue to build this one, or I need a blue and yellow to build the greenhouse, which the greenhouse is not bad. I think I'm going to do that. So for his next action, I'm going to build the greenhouse here, and it costs blue and yellow, so these go into the discard pile. And this immediately increases my uh, oxygen plus one, my, mo my water minus one, my food plus one, and my power down one. So the way to win this game is you've got to get all of the tokens here at zero or higher. That's how you win the game. Um, so he has done his second action. For his third action, he well, he'll do a free. He's going to move into the greenhouse as his free action. Now, what he can do is he, uh, he can produce supplies. He's in the greenhouse, and it's this icon right here which tells you what happens. So if I choose that, I can move this up one, which is what I'm going to do. That's his third action. And for his fourth action, I'm going to draw a card. Uh, play on your turn. Play this card to perform two extra actions for free. Ooh, I'm going to take this because then I can hand it to the architect. And that is his fourth action. All right, so he is done. At the end of his... <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> At the end of his turn, we go and we adjust the resources accordingly. So uh, the way this works is... Um, I am minus one, so this drops one on the oxygen, minus three on the water, 15, 14, 13, 12. This goes down one, and this goes down one, and that is that. All right, um, that is, let me double check. I need to flip this over. Uh, move, produce, I'm just trying to find the chain, chur, uh, the action, uh, I thought there was a cheat chart. Okay, the rule hierarchy. Okay, so uh, order hierarchy. Let me find that real quick just so I can remember. All right, so it goes... Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, where are you? Sorry, guys. I've only, this will be the second time I've played this, so I'm just trying to remember. Each turn is divided through the actions, events, resource update. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I did the uh, resource update, and now it goes to the architect. So I'm going to flip these coins over, so he gets four actions. His special action on his turn, uh, blueprints, as an action, reveal two extra face-up cards up to a maximum of five. Don't replace face-up cards drawn until they go back to their default number. Ah, got it. Okay. Ooh, I like that. So as an action, he can do that. So I forgot to reveal a second one here. All right. So I have two cards revealed. And it says I can reveal an extra, reveal two extra face-ups as an action. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go one, two. So I've got four cards out here. Hit one action is done. Um, now, he has an oxygen candle. It says play on your turn, not an action. It's free. Play this card to perform two free actions. That's, I may want to hold on to that for a little bit. Let me, let me hold on to that. All right, let's see. This card requires a blue and a yellow. Well, there's a blue and there's a protocol, which is a wild card. It can count as a yellow and this one is a yellow, but what I'm doing is I'm, I want to see what things are going to get me here. 
uh, the hydrogen fuel cell will increase my water and my electricity, but it costs two reds, which are not visible here. Although I do have a red here with a wild and I have a red in my hand. I just don't know if those two extra actions are helpful because I guess I could draw cards and hope for a red. I'm gonna play this. I get to do two extra actions. So the first action I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a card. It's a yellow. And for the second free one, I'm gonna draw this protocol card. Oh, you know what? If I draw that, I don't get to replace it because I don't get to replace it until it gets back down to two cards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a second card and I got a wild. Okay, so I've got two wild and I've still got three actions left. So what I think I'm gonna do, the site planning is a wild. Play anytime. Play this card to permanently increase the number of face-up cards by one. Ooh. That means this would always be three. I'm gonna hold on to that. I don't wanna get rid of that. Uh, the radio thermal generator gives me plus three electricity, but it takes two blue and two yellow. I've got a yellow and a yellow and a blue. Unfortunately, hand size matters. So I'm gonna play the site planning to permanently increase it to three. All right, so there's an action. Oh, that's a free action. It says play anytime. So I still get, I still got three actions here. Um, I got a blue, a yellow, and a yellow, and that could count as a blue. Play this card to increase the supply of each resource by one, including the emergency supply, but it can only go up to 10. It can never go higher than that. That's not a bad one. I hate to burn that one. So here's what I'm gonna do. I need a blue. To, to, I would need to sp spend three actions to go one, two, three, which is unfortunate because then I won't have any actions to play it and my hand size is gonna go down to four with a laborer. So, darn it. Uh, I really don't wanna lose this card. It's just too good of a card. So I think what I'm gonna do is for his second action, I am going to take the protocol, which means I get to refill it because remember, I've now got three permanent cards here. All right, there's a red. All right, that's not bad. A red and a yellow to build this. Well, there's a yellow, but no red. All right, air revitalization. That's gonna re raise oxygen. Um, I really need to do this one. Um, all right, I'm trying to reveal another blue card. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this one for free. It allows me to increase the supply of each resource by one. So I'm going to send all these up by one. And the emergency supply would normally go up one, but I haven't used it yet. And that is done. So for my next action, I'm going to draw. I need to, I want to pass off the blue and the yellow. So I'll draw the, oh, this doesn't give me a blue. It is, wait, no. Yeah, it does. It, this one, this counts as a blue. That counts as yeah. So I'll draw this one for my last action uh, and I will hold on to it. So that is the end of the architect's turn. I did a lot in that turn, which is pretty cool. And I'm handing off two cards to the laborer. All right, so this drops one. Again, water drops three down to 10. These each drop by one, and that is the end of that turn. So the laborer, oh, you know what I've been forgetting to do? <laughs> You're supposed to draw one of these silly cards, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, you draw that card uh, at the end, I think at the end of your turn. Let me double check the event card. After performing art, you must draw and read the top of it. <coughs> okay, so the commander should have drawn this one which is faulty airtight seal. If there are any unoccupied modules, place an oxygen leak. Well, he was in this one and there wasn't, so that one goes away. And then the architect would have drawn this one, anemia. You have been diagnosed with anemia, so he gets this sickness card. He needs three green cards in his hand. While I have anemia, your hand limit is reduced by two, so he's down to four cards. And these, these are really hard to get rid of. I, I've never, I, in my first game, I don't think I ever had triples of anything. All right, now it goes to the laborer. Okay, 
I've already adjusted that. So the laborer has four actions. I forgot to fill this. There's a blue. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the blue and flip. I'm going to take, well, let's reveal. All right, so there's two. I'm going to take the yellow and cover it, and that's another action. And she can go higher than four. She just has to end her turn with four. That's her maximum hand size at the end of the turn. And then my last one is I need another yellow. I will take this one. I don't replace it because now I'm down to three cards. Um, that was my third action. And then for her fourth, it looks like, no, it's a guy. This There was a woman last time. For the third and final action, fourth and final action, I will build this one to the left. And it costs two blue and two yellow. So these are gone. And she doesn't have anything in her hand left. That is her turn. But when I build this, I go up three, one, two, three, and the water goes down one again. My water is going to be my tricky one. All right, she draws an event card. Headache. You're suffering from a mild migraine. I get migraines, sorry. <laughs> but it's getting worse and it's going to affect your performance. <clears throat> Keep this card next to your character until you have three green. While you have it, you cannot draw any of the face-up cards. Are you kidding me? So she has to draw blind. Okay. All right. Uh, these come down. Oh, I, I need to adjust. So this comes down one. This comes down four. One, two, three, four. This one comes down one and Electricity goes up two, one, two. All right, there we go. Um, now it is the commander's turn. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any cards in my hand. He's only got four turns and three reds visible. Uh, I don't want to do any more that's going to take water, but this one gives me a plus one here and a minus one there, which puts me where I want to be, a zero and a one. So I'm going to take this card as an action. All these reds. I need a red and a yellow to play this. So I will take <coughs> this one, which is red. <coughs> and hopefully this will be a yellow. That was my second action. So he's drawn two. It's a blue. <laughs> okay. Um... He's got one more action. I could draw, and hopefully that's a yellow. This one gives me water, and it needs two yellows to pass that up. But his hand size goes down to four. So let's do this. Let's take that card and hopefully reveal a yellow. I didn't. All right, that's okay. Um, okay, so he's got one more action. He drew three. He gets a free move. Um, let me think. What do I want to do here? Do I want to try and draw a fourth card to hand off? He's going to get to use his special ability, which will allow me to re reveal two more. And it says up to a max of five. But that costs an action. So, let's... Well, the only thing I can do is generate a resource, and he's in the greenhouse, so he would generate a food, and I'm not really hurting on food. It's water I need to generate. Um, I could stop this one. I get a free move. The commander gets a free move. I am going to put a stop on this one, <coughs> so it stops. I lose the three electricity, one, two, three, but I also lose the minus one on the water, so I've... I'll have to reactivate this at some point in order to get this bonus again. But right now, I can deal with losing one power. And he is done. So he'll hand off three cards, but before we do, we draw an event card. Rapid decompression. One of the base access airlocks detached violently, causing depressurization. Reduce, reduce both oxygen and water supplies by two. One, two. Oh, one, two. If possible, place an emergency token on a module adjacent to your pawn. If possible, place an emergency token on a module adjacent to you. So, 
I think you can put that on home base. I, I don't know that for sure. It's not a module. It's not, it's not labeled module. So I think it's not. All right. So this goes away. You know what? I have, yeah, that's right. One, two, three, and then this is the commanders. Okay, so now this, uh, let's adjust everything. It comes down one, comes down three. I am at one water. <laughs> uh, minus one, minus one. All right, I need to get some water stuff built. And that is that. All right, so now we're to the architect. Man, I really got to get that water supply up. And the only way I can do that is to build this saboteur reactor, which generates water. So I think I'm going to have to work on that. So the architect can reveal two as an action. Do I want to do that right now? Because I need another, I need yellows to build this. Oh man, this is not good. Um, I need two yellows. Let's do an action and reveal two. So I've got a yellow and I can reveal one more up to five. It says up to a maximum of five. Oop, it's a red. Darn it. Okay. Does any of them give water? No, nothing. Well, this one does, but it takes a red and a yellow. So I would have to go red, yellow, and then build, which I could do, which I could do. Uh, wow. Okay. Thermal event, normal scenario, okay. So all I've been drawing is these. The normal scenario is referenced if a card tells you to reference the scenario event. Okay, so I haven't done that yet. All right, which is bad because it's going to cost me two water when that one triggers. Um, oh, shoot. Come on, man. I need water. Well, I've got a yellow. <coughs> I could draw and try to get a yellow randomly. Let's go ahead and take <coughs> this yellow card, which I will need to make, build the water. And I, I, don't get to re, I don't get to replenish this card. Um, he's got four. That was a turn. Let's have him draw a card. Please be yellow. I don't think it is. It's green. Okay. Uh, nutritional supplement. Play on your turn, not an action. Play this card to draw two cards from the player deck and or face up cards. Oh, nice. I will play that and draw two here. One, two. There's my yellow. Okay. Now that did not count as an action, so I've still got two actions. So I have enough to build the water recovery system, which I definitely want to do. It, doesn't, it only gives me water, it doesn't do anything else. And it costs two yellow, which I'm gonna use. So for his third action, he will build, where is he? He is gray, so he's here. I will build this here. As, a, that was, was that my third action or fourth action? That, the third action was to get that, I think I just said I was gonna build and I flip it. I did, because uh, that gave me the two free cards. That's what it was. So this is to build. There's the build, and it costs two yellows. All right. And then for his next action, oh, he needs to move there, but I won't be able to generate any water. All right, so this first increases this to plus one, and he's got one more action. <coughs> um what do I have? I have a blue, a red, and a red. Uh, that's not going to do. That's not going to do. A blue and a green I don't have. And two red, two green. Uh, none of these are really helpful. Okay. Um, I need to work on my water. i got to get the water up. So I'm going to move him here, and that is his fourth and final action. I'm going to lose some water, but he's going to hopefully be able to generate some. And that is his turn. So he draws an event card. Compression failure. Man, I'm getting a bunch of these. If there are any red modules in play, there are not. They develop an oxygen leak. Okay, so nothing happens. All right, and then I adjust these. This comes down one. This comes down two. So it goes one, 
two. So I've lost an emergency supply. And then this drops one and this one drops one. And this moves over to the laborer. I have three cards, so her his hand did end with less four or less. Um, I don't have three greens to get rid of her sickness or her whatever she's got. Migraine. Um, that's kind of bad. An anemia takes three green, but a migraine also takes three green. Come on, man. A, a migraine ought to take like maybe one green or two green. Uh, I, I don't know if anemia and migraines can be truly said to be equal here. All right. Um, let's see. I've got I've got two red and a blue. I cannot see. I need water. I need water. This will give me water. So, and it's a red and a yellow. So I will take it as an action. Her special, his special action, once per turn, you may do the produce supply action for free. But he's been sitting on a, uh, I moved the wrong one. I moved, he should, the commander is white. The commander should be here. The laborer should be here. Sorry about that. Um, the laborer can produce supplies, but he, she is not in a spot to produce. So we need to move her into one. Uh, I will move her into the water for free because she can do that. So uh, I will move as an action here. And her action is produce a water supply for free or produce something for free. She's in the water. So this goes up to one. And let's see what else I need to, to in order to make more water. I need a blue and a green and I only have a blue, but I get to flip this one. And it's a blue, and it's a water, and it's two yellows, but I don't have two yellows. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, <laughs> um, wow. So for her third action, I'm going to have her produce water. So she produces one. It's minus two, so I'm just going to go down to zero. And I think what I'm going to do is for her fourth action, I'm going to have her produce water. So I'm just building up my water supply. She's exhausted. Four cards, which is her hand size. Her turn is done. She draws this. Overcrowding. Each player who shares the same space with another must discard one card of their choice. Well, there wasn't any rule. You share a hand, so each player who shares the same space must discard. I, what I'll do is I'll play that as I've got to discard two cards. So knowing that I need to do the water recovery system... And the easiest to get is going to be a red and a yellow because I've got two reds and two blues. So I'm going to get rid of I'm going to get rid of this one for one. And I said red and yellow, right? So I'll get rid of this one. I, oh no, I need the water system. So I'll get rid of this one. Okay. And now it is the commander's turn. Oh, actually, I got to adjust the uh, supplies. Hold on. So this drops by one. Water drops two, so it's down to one. And each one of these comes down one. All right, I think I got that right. Check out the new RPG and Wargame newsletter. Each week, the tabletop engineer shares news, products, Kickstarters, and much more related to the gaming hobby. It's free to subscribe, so check out the link in the video description below to sign up. Okay, with two cards, uh, Commander gets a free action. So the Commander is here. I will move the Commander. Hold on, let's just think about this. We got four. I don't need to do the move just yet. What do I need? I need, well, I need to get everything up to zero. I, once I turn on the radio thermal, it'll bump this up three points, but it's going to knock the water down. So I still need to work on water. Um, and then I'm going to need to work on the green and the, and the red. So I'm looking at, I'm looking for cards that only do one thing. This one only does one thing. It bumps the water up plus one. That's a good card to have. So I think what I'm and it, it requires two yellow though. Now the electricity this will drop at one, but it, once I turn that on, it's going to go up. And I could do that. So I'll, I'll do this one. It requires a blue and a green. So I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw this blue and replace. 
Then I'm going to draw this green. Now I can build this. I'm going to build, where's my commanders right there? So I'll build this one right below, which is, it was the one, it was this one I want. I know that was two yellows, sorry, that one. It requires a blue and a green, so those go. It increases water plus one, but it lowers my electricity one. That's okay, because I know this is going to go up. Uh, that leaves me with one card and one action, and I get to replace this card. All reds. I have a red in my hand. I could do this, which is going to up this one up, which is what I want. So let's draw this card for my last one, and that will do that. He can move, so let's move him here. Let's move him here so I can generate water if I ever have to. All right. Um, that is the end of his turn. He draws a card. Ankle sprain. Health issue. Keep this card next to your character until you have three blue. While you have it, your speed goes down one, so he can only move two spots now. On an action, he can move three up to three, but right now, I, don't, I haven't even moved but just one spot. Okay. Uh, adjust. This comes down one. Water comes down one. It's at zero. Green comes down one, and electricity comes down two. All right. Now we are to the architect. I'm going to use one of his actions to reveal two new cards. One, two. Okay, these are these are permanent. These I can't replace. Uh, okay. Any, anything that's got a plus one on it, that one is electricity, this one's electricity. This one will go up one, and it requires a blue and a yellow. Well, there's a yellow. I don't have a blue, and I really don't care about elect electricity. Electricity is not the issue here, because once I turn this back on, it's going to go one, two, three. It's going to go up three, so it's okay, but water will drop one, so I need to get water up to one in order for it to come back down. So I'm still working on water. Oh man, this is, okay. And I gotta get food up too, so let's think about that. Well, I have nothing for food. Power, I got, I got power in my hand, so I can at least improve power by plus one. I need a yellow. So for his, for his second action, he will take this yellow here. This yellow. And then I will build a module for my third action. I'm going to build, what did I say? I was going to build, which one of these? They both do the same thing. They're both air revitalization. He is gray, so I will build that here. And it costs a red and a yellow. So that was his third action. And that increases my this to plus one, and this comes down one. Ugh, okay. Um, and I got one more action. I can, oh wait, where is he? I can generate water. I'll generate water. And that's it. All right. He's done, draws a card. Intercom failure. From now on, and until the next event is revealed, players cannot show their cards, transfer them, or communicate with other players. No skill, item, or protocols can be used if it involves other players. This is a weird card since I'm playing solo. Um, no skill, item, or protocols can be used. I could play this card and just say I can't use skill, items, or protocols, but those are rare. So instead what I'll do is I'll draw another one. Read the critical event <laughs> described. Critical event. Minus two food. Boom, boom. Minus two electricity, boom, boom. Replace the food supply, reduce the food supply by two, also reduce energy by one, plus one per solar panel installed. I have no solar panels, so it only comes down, it should have only come down one, okay. That's not too bad. Um, move these over after I adjust, I gotta adjust. Um, this comes down nothing, this comes down one to zero, this comes down one, 
and electricity comes down three. One, two, three. All right, I have no cards in my hand. <laughs> Once per turn, you may produce supplies for free. She is in the water recovery system, so she'll produce a water for, for a free action. Now, what I need to do is start building. Blue and green, blue and green, blue and yellow. Well, here's a yellow. No, I have to have a blue and yellow to build it. All right, oh, this is awful. Let me just go ahead and take three blind cards. One, okay. This one, ooh, this one's good. Food, well, it reduces water though. Two green and two yellow, which is not a chance. But here I got a green. I need a blue. I'll draw another card. I got another green and it requires two blue. Plus one food, plus one power. That's not bad. But I have nothing to build. I have nothing. I have the two green though to build this, which is plus two, but minus one water. I could also build, if I get a blue, I could build that one or that one, but they're the same things. All they do is generate oxygen, and I'm not bad on oxygen right now. It's at zero where that's fine. Um, I'm going to draw another card. And I got a protocol. Play any time. Play this card to take a card of your choice from the player deck. Shuffle the deck af afterwards. I'm going to go ahead and play that. Well, actually, it's a wild card. So a wild and a green, I could pull a wild and a green. I could treat that as a red, pull a red, and then generate this one, but that's not good either. This game is, this game is tricky. <laughs> um, still haven't quite figured it out yet. Uh, play your card. Okay, so what do I need? I need, it says I can pick any card I want. I'm gonna play that from the player deck. So there's not much left here. So not, not good, not good, not good. To play this card to take a card of choice from Okay, that one's not bad. The greenhouse is not bad. Ooh, that one would be a good one. The hydrogen fuel cell, definitely. Two reds. I will take that card into my hand Play to, to, to take a card from the player deck, shuffle the deck afterwards. Okay, let me double check to make sure there's nothing else I want. One, one, minus two, plus two, minus one. Then that's just sending water way down. And it costs too much to, to buy. Two blue. Yeah, I can't do it. Okay, so I'm supposed to shuffle this. All right, put it back. And I've got three cards. And for my fourth and final action, uh, since I'm going to be passing four cards off to the commander, uh, what I really want is to get a red and a red, right? Or two blues. Yeah, I need two reds. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take this one. That's the action. Can't do anything more. Um, she draws an event card. Urgent call. You must replace your character's card with one at random from among those that were left out. Also discard any health issue cards you may have. Interesting. Okay, let me go. So labor is going bye-bye. Hang on one second. Let me get, oh, they're up here. So does it say draw one at random? Pick one at random. Okay, so here's all the cards. Let's just shuffle these up a little bit. And I'll just pick a number, one through three, one through five. Uh, let's do four. One, two, three, four. All right, that's the card I'll do. I, she does lose, I got the programmer. Okay, well, I'm not sure quite. The programmer has a special skill. Once per turn as an action, you may draw a module card of your choice from the discard pile. You cannot get item or protocol cards. Okay, not bad. Um, went, drew the card, adjust. All right, so this stays. This comes down one to zero. This comes down one, and this comes down three. One, two, three. Oh, the supplies are getting low. Commander. All right, the commander can move for free. Uh, 
What do I need? I'm getting low on water. I, I think I'm going to have to generate some supply. Well, let's build this hydroponics. Uh, actually, I forgot to fill that one. It's a green. Okay. It was the it was this one. Two reds. So I'm going to, as an action, I'm going to take this red. As another action, I'm going to build. He can move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. Uh, oh, he can build right here. Uh, I'm going to build the hydrogen fuel cell for two red. Power comes down, or oxygen comes down one. Water goes up one, and electricity goes up one. So I won't lose any water this turn. He's got two actions left. Um, he hasn't used his free move. He doesn't really need to. What I can do... Plus one, plus one. All right, when I turn this back on, this is gonna come down to negative one and this is gonna go up to one, two. It's gonna go up to plus one. So I really need to work on getting, this will get, oh no, minus two goes down to four and then three will get it here. But this will get everything to zero except for electricity, the hydroponic farm. And I only need two blue cards. All right, so. I'm going to draw a card and hope for a blue. I didn't get it. <laughs> and I'm going to generate a water resource for his last action. There we go. Uh, actually, I don't have to do that because I'm not losing any water this turn. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that free move and I'm going to move to electricity and bump it up one. And that will be that. Okay, there we go. Draw a card. Normal scenario, read the normal scenario. Minus two water, oh, that means I lose two here and minus one electricity. Okay. Um, these flip over and I've got to adjust accordingly. This comes down one, water does not drop anymore. This comes down one and this drops two. Ooh. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and reveal a fifth card. It is a wild. Play this card to increase the supply of any basic resource by three, not the emergency supply. So I could use an action to take that and bump the electricity up because it's gonna go to zero at the end of his turn right now. I really do need to get that water and f that, ele that oxygen and food up, which is this card, which is two blue. That's a blue. Let's, as an action turn, all right, so I already did it. Let's, let's draw a card. I need a blue so bad. I didn't get it. Okay, red and a yellow. Well, this generates electricity, which I am going to need. And it generates one, a red and a yellow. So let's do that. Let's take a red, this one. And for my third action, I will build the solar panels. And he is gray, so I'll have to build it down here. I don't think you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this all up a little bit so you'll be able to see a little better. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. I drew that third card, so I get to reveal that one. These are my permanent ones that get replaced. These do not get replaced. Um, all right, so for that action, I was going to build here the, what did I say? The aquaponics, no, the hydroponic form, or was it the solar, it was the solar panels, red and yellow. Uh, hold on, how did I do this wrong? I don't have a yellow. <laughs> ah, okay, so for my third action, I'll take the yellow. That's what I was going to do. Actually, hold on. Red, yellow. I need a, oh, I need a red. That's what it is. I need to take the red. All right. This one gets replaced. There's a blue. Um, that was my third action. And then for my fourth and final action, I will build the hydroponics. What was it? It was the, I forget what I was going to do. It was the solar panels here. A red and a yellow. I meant, dummy me, I meant to take the yellow. I knew there was some reason I was reaching for yellow. So red 
in yellow, that's what it was, to play the solar panels, which bumps this production up here. So I'll only lose one. That is his turn. I've got three cards in my hand. He draws. Deconfiguration. The, the basic computer system has gone down. Discard the face-up cards and replace them with the same number of cards but face down. Discard the face-up and replace it. You will have to draw or recycle to replace them with new face-ups. Ooh. All right, so these four are all, so I get to put four back, which means I have to put one, and I have to shuffle this since it's out, and I'll, I'll reveal three new cards. Three new cards. All right, one, two, three. all right, so four cards face down. I don't know what they are. So I just have to gamble. All right. So now I need to adjust the power. This comes down one. This stays. This comes down one. And the electricity comes down one. This moves to the programmer. The programmer special ability. Once per turn is in action. You may draw a module card of your choice from the discard. There is no discard, so I can't do it. Um, I've, got, I've got three green, which, you know what I should have done? Keep this card until you have three. While you have it, your hand limit is until you have three. So I did. I did have three so I can get rid of the anemia. Well, that never happened. I don't think the commander had the three green. It's possible, but it doesn't really matter. His move is still pretty high. All right. So I got rid of that. Three green. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I don't know what these are. So in order, I have to pick them to reveal them. So for four actions... I need, I need to get, uh, did I adjust? I, I did. Now I need to turn the, this was right here, where was it? It was right here. I need to turn that on, but not until I get the water up plus one and the electricity. I, I did get the, I thought I got all the food, the food, here it is. I need to get the food and the water, uh, or food and oxygen, I need two blues. So let's just draw. Oxygen candle. Play on your turn, not an action. Play this card to perform two free actions. All right, I'm going to do that. So for my two free, I'm going to draw this one. I got a blue, and I'm going to draw this one. I got a yellow. All right, so I've still got three actions left. So what can I do here? This gives me power, which is, I, I need, I'm going to need that. Water, I'm okay. I already used that. Okay, I can't use that. Um, greenhouse, aqua. The greenhouse will certainly do it, and it's just a blue and yellow. Yes. All right. Where is uh, the programmer? Is right here. So unfortunately, the programmer is going to have to move here as an action, and then I'm going to play a blue and a yellow to build the, the hydroponic form. Do I want that or, yeah, the hydroponic form. And I'll build that down here. Two blue, I already put that in. No, blue and yellow, sorry, it was the greenhouse, greenhouse. All right, this gives me plus one here, minus one here, plus one here, and minus one here. So I don't know if I did myself right there, but the water is back down and the electricity is back down. But these are at zero, which is what, what I need them to stay at. All right, that was my, was that my third action? I think it was, or was that my second? No, it was my second because I drew the two free cards. Third action, uh, I get to replace this one. Uh, I get to replace this one face up and this one face up, sorry. All right, uh, that gives me oxygen, but no water. This one gives me power and not much electricity. I'm okay, I don't want either one of these. So for my third action, I'm going to draw that card. It's a blue and a yellow wind turbine. So it will give me power. I need water generation to fix this. Um, I get to replace it. Play this card to increase the supply of each resource by one, including, okay, all right. Um, and for my fourth action, I'm going to take that card, and it's a free action to play it. Each resource goes up by one, including this one. So it goes up one, 
one, one, one, and one. <sighs> okay, that's her turn. Normal scenario event, uh, which is minus two water, one, two, and minus one electricity. All right. These come over here to the commander. I do not have the three cards at green in my hand anymore, so I can't get rid of that. I need to refill this. Three reds. Really? I need water. I need water generation, and I don't have it. Um, wow. Okay, so the commander is going to move. All right, I need to, I need, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to activate it so it's plus three, one, two, three, and the water drops one. So all I got to do is get this water up. <clears throat> That's one action. For his next action, I'm going to draw a card. I need a blue. I got a red. <sighs> I'm basically just looking for cards that don't hurt me. And so far, all these hurt me. <clears throat> um, I can move for free, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move here for free. And then I'm going to, for my remaining three, I'm going to draw one card. Darn it. <laughs> and then I'm going to generate a water. And that's all I can do. So I did two, and then I generated water, so he is done. Uh, I don't have three green in my hand, so I can't get rid of that. I draw this. Read the normal event. Well, the normal event is minus two water. One, two, and minus one electricity. So water and electricity are both now at zero. Um, that is his turn. Actually, no, it's not. I've got to now lower them or raise them. So this comes down zero. This comes down two, one, two. This stays at zero, and this goes up one. I've got four re uh, uh, emergencies left. Not looking good. All right. Um, the programmer just, or that was the architect. So, was it the architect? Yeah, yeah. I just ran through it real quick to get a bunch of cards. No, hold on. That was the commander's turn. I generated a water. Yeah, so why did I do that? So these go here. Sorry. Because now I can re reveal two more for, for as an action. Two more as an action. And play on your turn. Play this card to remove any number of sp to move any number of spaces. Pfft, don't need that. What I need is water generation, which none of these cards are doing. And none of these. Can I turn off something? If I turn off any, I could turn, the, well, no. I can't turn off anything that will not hurt the water supply. I, I can't turn off anything that will slow the water without hurting these three, which are in the positive. They're where I want them to be. So, I, man, this is tricky. Uh, electricity could come down one and... Electricity, if I turn, no, if I turn that off, electricity comes down three, but water goes up only one. So I'm back in the same boat. I just, it's either water or electricity. One of them is going to be negative, so I've got to work on that. Um, this is, man, this is crazy. All right, we're going to have to, one, two, three, four, five. I've got five cards. I'm going to draw another card. Oh, uh, play any time. Play this card to permanently increase the number of face-up cards by one up to a maximum of five. So I'm going to use this as a wild card. <clears throat> it is a... Uh, I have nothing that will help me here. I could build the air vitalization. I could do that, which is a red and a yellow. I'm going to do that. I'm going to play this to build... He's gray, so he needs to move. Shoot. So he'll move here as an action, and then he will build the air revitalization, which bumps this up one and this down one. So these are at zero. This is a plus one, but I still haven't solved that. And for my last action, I will draw... I got nothing. Nothing. 
hurts, hurts, definitely hurts. That might do, but that's not going to get me a, another card. So for my last action, I'll draw a card. No water. So that's this planet's going to kill me. All right, so he draws a card. Place two emergency tokens. On, oh, a breach. Warning. A breach affected a critical sector. Place two emergency tokens on your current location, which is, he's great. So the solar panels uh, have two of those. And the way those work is um, they, they uh, drain a resource. Uh, let's see. Some events tell you to put leak tokens or emergency tokens. Uh, emergency tokens reduce the emergency supply directly. So it is critical to repair these. So each one of these will cause this to drop one. Um, he has no more actions. So that's not good. Um, this is not good. Uh, let's see. This goes up one. Water drops two. One, two. <laughs> uh, this drops, uh, well, it doesn't matter because the emergency tokens are going to knock this down to the skull. So I lose. Ugh. I don't know if you, uh, so it doesn't matter. Even though electricity doesn't drop, uh, then you go to the, the modules and there's two purples on here, which would go one, two. So, oh, that was the worst kind of card, the breach at the very last card to take those two away. I still don't think I would have won only because I don't have any cards revealed that are going to get this water up to zero. I would have to go up to plus two. I don't even think there's any cards that do that. Let's take a look. Plus one, plus one. All, all, there's a plus one, plus one, and I'm, I needed the hydrogen fuel cell. That would have done it. It would have got them all to zero, but it was like, I don't know, eight cards down. Yeah. So anyway, wow, this game is still whooping me. I've got to have, I've got to figure that I'm going to have to do some thinking on this one. I, I may be doing something wrong. If you, if there's a strategy I'm missing here, let me know. But man, trying to get these numbers balanced uh, to zeros or higher, is just really hard. But it's a cool game. I really like it. I just haven't won it yet. And that's going to keep me coming back to play it again and again and again because I just I want to win. All right. Well, this is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer. Thanks for joining me as I played a game of Exo World Survival. Uh, again, I'll put a link in the video description below where you can find the game if it interests you. Um, I'm sorry that I can't seem to win it, but I knew, I knew this kind of game was going to be kind of tricky and, uh, and I don't want it to be easy. So this just, this is going to just have me coming back for more. All right. Well, I can't promise when, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, I'll be back to play another game of this and we'll see. I think what I'll do is I'll give this planet one more, one more try and then I'll move on to something else. All right. This is Jim, the tabletop engineer. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you in the next video. Everybody, take care.